Okay, sir. Okay, we want to go to those of you in the stands who might ask the question. We have wireless mic up here straight away between 106 and 105. Raise your hand if you recognize. The other one is over here between 103 and 104. So if someone would like to venture with a question, don't be national, please. And we'll use this right here. The microphone out here, or we're just going to go up to get the microphone out. I trust you. Okay. It might be here. No. <laughs> it's alcohol, man. I'm the right. Hi, this is Jim. This question is for Jeff or Sean. I noticed in traveling around at a couple of AHL's arenas that they bring in probably not big name bands for performances after the show and everybody that attends the game, their tickets good for that show. Is that something you have considered for here as well? That's something we look at like, all the time. Uh, the team I was with before this and they like me. We actually started it a few years back, about 10 years ago. Great plaza, we did it all the time, so we actually had to. Uh, but we have an art that's a little bit different. We have those same great acts perform on our stage from time to time, whether it's Vince Gill, uh, bringing Alice Cooper out, and so for the boys. Uh, so we have a lot of that element in play in game. It's definitely something that we want to look at in some of the spaces we have outside as well. To really spend the night, some of those great Saturday nights that Jeff talked about, we do want to look at it. It's probably not something we're going to add this year, but possibly the year after. We actually have to add some infrastructure to really bring that to life. But right now, you almost have to settle with just uh, all the platinum records we have to play on our own sound stage. Next question, please, right here. This is for Sean. Hi. Uh, one of the things that I've been for is a supporter for the brothers is the opportunity to be able to the all of the things that go on. We thought about putting the other in kind of an amateurs for people who would travel in our St. Louis or something like all this. And there's a lot of outside of this one. Yeah, a few years ago, when, when the team had the opportunity to play overseas, a very organized um, process to put in place to bring fans to go over there, make it easy for fans to go. And then we never really embraced during the regular season. Uh, this year, we, we didn't do it in an official basis. Um, we did coordinate tickets for probably four or five hundred different fans for different games. Um, something that we are working on in August, we're going to roll out for our press test this year. Uh, probably two or three unified trips, but more importantly, anyone that's a season ticket holder, that wants to help in going to an away game. Really all they need to do is call their, their ticket rep or fan relations. If you don't get what you want there, you can always email me. We'll make it happen. But this year we will have two or three organized trips uh, to some regional cities that are easy for us to get to. We have a question here, 105. Stand up, Just stand up, please. And the mic will come right down to you. Or over to you. Or we'll have Morris to use the hearing impaired. <laughs> yes. If your mind is shut right now, save a little bit of that Thank you. Yes, it's a big question.
talking about trying to get it. Actually, been uh, uh, with David uh, in discussion with a couple guys uh, that are trying to make some decisions on that, and uh, that's definitely an element that we would want to maintain uh, because we have a lot of those skill elements coming. I think it might be easier to, to uh, replace Kobe uh, because we have a lot of those those players coming. Um, but that's something that we, we're definitely looking at. There's no question. We can talk about quite a bit. And we still are, are, are not done. I think the first priority of business, and I'm speaking to David probably right now, is that we want to get Shea Weber done. And then once that's done, we can you know, go forward and add the other other elements that we need. And there's going to be some things that we've learned over years uh, that are going to fall through. And not only uh, unsigned guys, but teams that are oversigned. And now they're in that crunch where they're trying to move some players. That will be a great opportunity. We're set up really well for that. Where does he spend his time? He's a lot of energy. Are we going to see him all over the once before he goes first? How much chance will tell you to cover his old predators yet? Actually, with, um, with the new deal that um, the NHL cut with um, NHL versus Comcast at Consortium, uh, they, they, they made an effort to even it out. Um, uh, so, you know, if you're asking for a specific number, uh, that is yet to be, that's yet to evolve. Uh, it will be more than in years past. Um, and I know we're all proud of our predators, and we're all proud of our arena, and we're certainly proud of our, our team. But I'll tell you something. When they come in here and sit up there, we lose these guys. And I would submit to you that you're better off watching them than the guys that go on our team. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Let's go to one of the three. Any questions over here? Yes, with the uh, anything in the future. Sorry about that. Our third jersey is that something we make the next day. Okay, the question was, the third jersey you talked about, sir, is blue, is that retired, uh, put on suspension for a bit, or, or what? Uh, I'd say this. Uh, we're committed to the new jersey, which we're about to unveil. Uh, we're committed to our new logo uniforms. We're not going to have a third jersey this year because we do not want to uh, lose the tremendous impact that we're about to see. Uh, and I don't want to make a commitment beyond that. So uh, I'll tell you for this year, uh, we're going to keep them in a closet and keep them nice and clean, and we'll go from there. All right, top of all six, please, sir. Yes, sir. Great question. Uh, the first one is about training camp day. The second one is, are you going to be doing college nights again? Can we have that in here, please? The training camp day. And college nights, are you going to be bringing that back? College nights, is that what you're asking about? Yeah. I'm sorry, college nights, are you back? Absolutely, in bigger form. I love college nights. Thank <laughs> you. 